these these agents. Um, some patients are going to have certain side effects. You know, let's say, for example, a woman feels like she's has a little too much alopecia with um, palbociclib. Well, you know, let's try the ribociclib there. Or, you know, I, I um, I'm getting a little bit of um, fatigue. You know, on the palbo. Okay, well, let's try the uh, ribo. You know, this this happens with our aromatase inhibitors. You know, with the anastrozole and the letrozole. You know, for example, or the exemestane. There's differences in tolerability, even though efficacy is the same. And there's not much in the way of, if you look at the clinical trials, it looks like the side effects are all the same, but for individual women, that's not the case all the time. Then the third one is a bemocyclib, and that's, that's a ways away. I, I hope some of the, the phase three Monarch trials will be reporting later this year um, with fulvestrant, so that I hope we're gonna get that one on the market very soon. That one's different, it's given continuously as opposed to 21 days on and, and a week off. It's less myelosuppressive, but it's got more diarrhea with it. So there's a difference in uh, uh, the safety toxicity profile. A bemocyclib looks like it's got activity later line metastatic, as a, and I certainly have seen that in my own practice. So for more pretreated patients, it'll be uh, a question I think we really need to know is, if patients have had palbociclib or ribociclib up front and then have had many intervening um, therapies, might the abemocyclib help them down the road? So that's a, we don't know the answer to that. That's a real open question in my mind. Plus, abemocyclib penetrates the blood-brain barrier well. I have multiple patients on a clinical a trial right now being looked at for um, uh, brain metastasis. I don't, I'm not participating myself, but I've sent these patients to other centers and they're benefiting, several of them. So I'm very impressed with the, um, the ability to control ER positive brain metastasis durably with the abemocyclib. So um, this is an exciting time. These are, these are, um, these are, are different uh, agents with the ribocyclib and the palbociclib. I think it's going to be more individual patient variation, maybe some dosing considerations there, but abemocyclib is going to be different, maybe a, a bit more of a utility later line. We'll see what it looks like early line, of course, too, but also the uh, blood-brain barrier penetration, I think, really differentiates it.